This is a match between Rohan Lal and Masato Webb at the 2017 U.S. Taito National Championships. Rohan is on the left, representing Akka, and Masato is on the right, representing Shiro. Both these gentlemen are third-degree black belts from U.S. Taito, and they both are founding members of the University of Georgia Taito Club. So now both competitors are squared up, they're about to get set in Gedungamai, and the head judge is about to start the match. So when the head judge starts the match, Masato is immediately going to jump into a Hensokuka, take a deep step towards Rohan inside Rohan's range, and Rohan is going to throw a Shajugeti. Um, this is a very common reaction, especially when someone tries to jump into your range very quickly out of Gedungamai. That Shajugeti is open usually most of the time. Now because Masato was doing Hensokuka and is immediately stepping out, he actually was able to dodge the Shajugeti by stepping away from Rohan and ducking underneath. Now Rohan's going to follow through with the Shajugeti and actually pin Masato to the ground as he gets his hips above Masato's hips. Now usually this is a very awkward position in Taito. Um, when you're on top of somebody, most of the time they usually stop the match because it's really hard to untangle yourself. But Rohan's going to do something very clever here. He's actually going to elevate himself above Masato's spin and come down on Masato with a chop. So the chop is one of Rohan's specialties and he uses it a lot to score in Jusen. Specifically this chop variation which is a jumping shuto in which you strike from top to bottom and you hit your opponent's back or their side. Um, Rohan uses it, the chop very effectively because he understands how to manipulate the distance between him and his opponent to strike. Now usually in this situation when you are caught up in a technique and you miss or you are in an entanglement with your opponent, uh, most people try to get to their feet as fast as possible and throw a straight punch, which is generally seen in Taito. However, in a lot of situations, the opponent is too close to you in order to extend your arm fully, and you end up jamming with your opponent a lot of times. Also, in order to get up fast enough, your opponent has more time to react, and they can often get up fast enough to escape the punch. So Ron is able to use the chop where you're even closer than punching range to add a new dimension to attack your opponent either from top down or from the side. And so you're going to see that a lot in this match. So after Rohan scores, the head judge brings him back to the center of the court and they're going to give Rohan a wazari or a half point. So next, both opponents go for a Shajugeti feint. Um, Masato actually gets there first, doing a proper feint by placing his knee on the ground, and Rohan more or less reacts to Masato and falls backwards. Now you can see here, Masato is at a much more advantageous position against Rohan. His posture is straight up and his hips are above his feet, while Rohan, when he reacted to Masato and went for his Shajugeti feint, uh, he fell backwards and his posture is off. In order for Rohan to recover, he would have to pull his hips above his feet and stand up, and so in order to take advantage of this, Masato jumps to get over Rohan, and Rohan has to escape by moving backwards and doing a kind of a cartwheel motion. So in order to avoid the situation as a whole for Rohan, it probably would have been better if he actually moved his feet away from Masato and reset, rather than trying to commit to a Shajugeti and fall off posture. Keep in mind in Taito, it's always better to make sure that your hips are above your feet, and so that you can guarantee that you can move in any direction at will. Um, the second your posture and your center of gravity is off, your opponent can really take advantage of it and you have to really commit to escaping in a way that might not be advantageous to you. So after Rohan dodges Masato's punch, Masato's going to jump again to try and hit Rohan, but they're going to actually punch each other at the same time. Um, in Taito, if both opponents hit each other at the same time, there actually is no point scored. So the head judge and the side judge is going to bring them back to the center of the court and restart the match. So this next exchange is very high level and it showcases how two opponents can utilize their hands to deflect or block techniques in order to gain advantage against their opponent. So first, Rohan is going to commit to a Suihageti, and Masato is going to use his front hand to grab the back of Rohan's foot and push it to the outside or to the right of him in order to expose Rohan's back and push him off balance. After Rohan spins around from that push, Masato starts a Shajugeti, but he notices that he's going to miss as Rohan is backing up, so he ends up planting his foot and shifting his weight over his feet. As Rohan jumps backwards, Masato is going to follow him with a really nice Suihageti variation. He's going to leap in order to gain a lot of distance for Rohan and kick with the Suihageti. Now Rohan is going to utilize his right hand, grab the back of Masato's heel and push Masato's foot out in order to cause Masato to spin the exact same move that Masato did to him earlier. And this is going to expose Masato's back as Rohan gets set for a Senjugeti. So Rohan does a Senjugeti, Masato reacts by ducking underneath. 
Now Rohan's going to do a very common Taito combination. He's going to plant his foot and fire immediately back with the Shajugeti. Masatsugo's going to see that Shajugeti coming. He's going to jump, bring his knees up in order to deflect getting a hit from that Shajugeti. And he's going to land on Rohan. Now, this doesn't count for any points, so the judge is going to stand them up and start again. So Ron makes a mistake here. Uh, he does a front roll, but he does it way too far away from Masato, and he does it in the opposite direction to Masato. Now, if you're going to commit to Tenki, you got to make sure that you're using it to actually either attack or defend an oncoming technique. Otherwise, it gives your opponent way too much time to react and Masato was able to jump, get behind Rohan, and strike him. So in this next exchange, Rohan's going to do a Sentai feint, Masato's going to do a Shajugeti feint, and Rohan's going to jump to do a signature chop. So Masato's going to get his hips over his feet, jump and kick, and they're going to hit each other at the same time. So that won't count, so then Rohan's going to step forward, do a Senjugeti, then a Shajugeti, and Masato's going to jump to try and punch, but Rohan's going to kick out his legs from underneath him so that Masato can't punch him, and as he spins up, Masato's going to jump again and hit him in the head. So this was definitely an accidental strike, um, so the judge is going to make sure that Rohan is okay, but usually when an opponent strikes another opponent in the head or the legs like this, the judge is going to issue them a warning or a chewy, which essentially is a penalty point in Jisen. So Rohan's going to go back to the center, and the judge is going to announce that penalty. So I'm going to play this next exchange in full speed. Um, both players are going to do a couple of feints. There's a feint there, a feint here. Rohan's going to jump and chop, but it's going to be too short to count. They're going to exchange the same blow at the same time, and then Masato's going to hit Rohan with a very nice Shajugeti. Now, even though Rohan hit Masato with a chop afterwards, it was still after the point was scored, so Masato's going to get a Yuko. So this is going to close out the match. Rohan is going to do a couple of defensive rolls, because he knows that even though they're tied on points, Masato has that penalty Chewy, and that way if he doesn't get scored on, he wins. Um, he takes a big risk here with the rolls away from Masato, but it ends up working out in his favor. The judge is going to put them in Seiza and announce that Rohan is the winner. So I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Um, I had a lot of fun analyzing this match. Both Rohan and Masato are very high level Taito competitors and they really utilize a lot of great options in order to avoid getting struck by your opponent, both using their front hand and also using their movement in order to predict where their opponent is going to strike them and to deflect in order to create opportunities for themselves. Um, I hope you learned a lot from this breakdown and that you can utilize some of those techniques in your own descent. If you like this, and want some more, please like and subscribe and follow for the next one.